Hello and welcome to part two of the tutorial on the animation plugin. So if you haven't seen part one, please uh, watch part one of this. The plugin is free. Check the description for the link. All right. So to begin with, uh, let me load a scene. I want to show how a feature code. Let me open the plugin. Click there. And there we have the plugin. So there's a feature here called um, partial load okay so this feature is used to connect to uh, to load a motion but only part of it only a section of the character will have that motion loaded so in order to see how useful that is let's try it out so to start with let me go to the default pose let me click on the default pose so that the character is standing still all right, so now if I go to the talking uh, section here, double click to reset. If I click on emotion here, so I have this uh, three second motion. These are gestures for when the character is talking. So there's one here and uh, there's another one here, which I like. Okay. So now I want to clearly these motions are happening while the character is standing, but I want to use the same motions while the character is walking. So let's see how we can combine those two motions together. Right, so let me go back to my default pose. And then first of all, I want to start with the walking walk cycle, right? So all I'll need is a few frames of this. First of all, let me drag a uh, sound only need 64 frames of this sound. Let me play it. Well, 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 if it's not the three musketeers. Well, 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 if it's not the three musketeers. But since it's a female voice, let me load the appropriate. Um, let me replace this character with a female version. There we go. Right. So what I want is how to be saying this while walking so that we can see how to use both of this. So in this walking thing, there's this walk offset. So I have to make sure that uh, relative load is selected in order for her to continuously move in one direction. So let me loop it six times. So I'll select six on the loop here and then click walk offset. So this is the offset version. All right, so it's uh, taking a while. There we go. So it's, well, it has loaded. Well, if it's not a so I want her to gesture as she's talking. So I don't need the animations from the upper body. So I have to delete from this point to the children. So to do that, I select the bone where I want the deleting to start from. Go to menu, clear keys. And I want to clear from frame one. I don't want to get rid of frame zero. So let me put 100 just to be sure. So the selected item and the children will all have deleted keyframes right now. So I'm gonna say, okay, there we go. So if I play the animation now, uh, the girl won't do anything on the upper part of the body, except she'll be walking. All right, so let me start with the first gesture. Now, how this works is this. Normally, when I want to load a motion, I'll, I'll go to the object and select the object because that's what I had selected when saving the motion so that every bone in here could have its motion saved as well. So what I do is I select that body. All right. So now the plugin will remember what I selected previously. So if I go back to bone mode, so it will know that I selected the object and then now I'm on the bone. So what this means is the object is the original uh, contains the entire motion, but I want to start loading at this bone. So in order to achieve that, you just click on objects and then you go back to bones. So now you're ready to load the partial animation. So I'll go here and make sure that partial load is selected. Mm -hmm. And so I will go to the folder that says talking because this is where I have those uh, motions for talking. All right, so the one I want to start with is down here and it goes for the well, well, well. Uh, this is the one right here. 
Now, if partial load is not selected and I just load this, I'm going to have very weird results like that. So if this happens, don't panic. Just select partial load and make sure you load it that way. If all fails, just remove partial load and select the entire body and load a motion. Then everything will be back to normal. So as you can see, this is well, well, well. Well, well, well. So I want on the last well to have a different pose. Oh, Alright, so let me go to this pose right here and click uh, this one. Alright, so well, well, well. Now we have a problem here because I have a key here and a key here. So there's going to be movement between this key, the third key, up to frame 20, like that. Oh, well, oh, well. Uh, this is not what I want. I want it to hold this pose well. from 3, hold the pose from 3 up to frame 17 and then change to frame 20. So I'll go to frame 17 and go to menu and tell it to copy the previous pose. So it's going to copy this last pose and put it here, which gives the, which makes this whole thing hold the pose. Now, as you can see, I'm not using, the curves that I'm using here are linear because I went to the graph editor and selected on the options here on the option menu i selected default incoming curve as linear because this is the kind of animation i'm doing for these characters so you might have a different uh, method that you're using so in that case you may need to copy uh, the previous pose several times to make sure that the frame is held all right so so far this is what we have well 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 if Okay, so when she says if it's not the three, I want it to change again. If it's not a three. So right there. Now, you could get tired of going back and saying copy previous pose. You could automate that um, that whole thing by clicking auto prev pose. This right here, auto previous pose. So now, if I paste a pose right here, it's going to add a previous keyframe before it automatically so how it knows how many keyframes to add to separate the two is here in settings so if you go to settings there's this number here i've set it to three so it's going to wait three uh, keyframes before and then add that one so let's go so three is right there let me go back make sure everything is good and then where is the pose if uh, you get lost here just double click everything will reset and then this is the one i want so click so don't forget partial load is on auto previous pose and then we have this all right so let me go back here and do a ram preview of what's going on so before that let me move the eye thing up there let me switch on headlights and then let's see this animation you know it's glory so let me do a preview right there we go so well 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 if it's not the three musketeers well 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 if it's not the three musketeers all right so the three part here is delaying a little bit so what i do is i use IK booster to edit all these. I press Ctrl B because IK booster is applied to my character. And then here, if I select all item mode, not, not all item, I can go to child mode and then go back here and select this bone that I had selected. I could select all these three and move them back a little bit, like so. Mm -hmm. all right so now if i do a rum preview it's much better so the only thing remaining now at this point is lip sync so once you do your lip sync and your animation is practically done let's see that well 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 if it's not the three musketeers all right so this is how I uh, use the plugin to animate and combine several motions together on different sections of the character. 
So you might have a motion where the character is running and you want to do something else. Uh, this is the way to do it. You can combine three or four uh, motions together to create something that looks complex. All right, so that's all for now. I'll uh, see you in part three so that we look at the final uh, remaining the final remaining functions of this uh, plugin, then we'll be done. All right, so I'll see you in another video.